Yep, that's me. I'm sure you're all wondering how I got here and you're all very, very intrigued. Nobody cares. Oh, shut up, B-Fab. Anyway, so this story starts sometime, somewhere. Yeah, just roll the clip. Lego Club was a free subscription service where Justin Bieber would roast people's mocks and ask probing questions. Why do each one of us have our own fingerprint? There was also some epic anime in there for the e-boys amongst you. <laughs> Lego Club existed during the late 2000s and early 2010s. It acted as an elitist group for all Lego fans. The official YouTube channels published some of the greatest Lego content ever, such as Don't Be a Jerk, It's Christmas. It was also the place where Shawn Mendes made his first public One, appearance. Two, three, four. Dad? For me, one of the most exciting things about this magazine when I was younger was the idea of getting one of my creations featured, which... I mean, what the hell? Look at this hot trash. Bro, you didn't even build that, you con artist. Why weren't my bloody mocks featured? I once again found myself consumed by my curiosity and decided to see if I could sign up for the LEGO Life magazine. It said that I had to be aged 5 to 9 to be able to sign up for the subscription, which was pure bull. It. So, I had to download the magazine. One of the most interesting revelations that I came across was that firstly, Max's mum has the same haircut as him, and secondly, that those stupid scammers are back with their terrible bills. Bruh, my mocks were so much better than yours. You know what? Screw Lego Club. They didn't want me then, they don't want me now. Now this is a real magazine. Oh, can we just, um, can we get rid of the um, anime look here? Cool, thanks. Now, did LEGO Life come with Nia with cool weapons? No, I don't think it did. Did it come with speed demons? No. Did it come with an awesome comic? Yes, but it was less awesome. And a minifigure, of course. Now, do you know what's so good about this magazine compared to LEGO Club and LEGO Life? There's no bias in here. you got a cool comic, whatever. Some, you know, little stuff, you know, posts are very cool. But there's nothing in here that I'm not allowed to be in. There's no competitions. There's no little kids being featured unnecessarily. Again, more comics. That's epic. Here's a moustache. I mean, look, look at how great this is. You know, you got a little game here. There's no little kids being featured in this magazine. And I love that. Because I don't have to rage about not being in this magazine. Because no one else is. What's this? So, to conclude, I hate children, and I hate fictional characters that tell me I can't be in a magazine. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, one more final thing. If this video hits 30 likes, then I'm gonna actually try and get into the next LEGO magazine, so yeah. Sometimes when I can't find my room, I'm just sitting home.